Hi, this is Ask Brock. I'm Brock Yorty. This week's question comes from Ronnie. Brock, I used to be a vertical driller, but now I work for an HDD company on a Vermeer rig. Why do they pump so much more fluid? You know, I've been waiting to get some questions in here that are, you know, industrial drilling involved. We're all in the drilling world. This doesn't always have to be water well questions. Uh, great question. So one, you know, most projects that we're drilling with a HDD rig is, um, we call it what, sacrificial mud. It's one way, you know, it's not like we have a complete system. Um, when we're pilot drilling out, yes, we, we have fluid that comes back, but most of the time we don't capture it. The fluid is full of high solids because the dynamics of drilling horizontally versus vertically are much different. You know, uh, in many HDD schools over the year that I've got to participate in and teach in, we talk a lot about, you know, the soil ratio to be able to push, you know, um, solids out of a hole horizontally versus vertically. And vertical, you know, we shut a pump off, solids fall to the center, you know, down to the bottom of the hole. Our rods can't get stuck when we're horizontal. You know, that 12 inch hole and seven inches is sitting all those solids are just sitting on top of the rods. So it's uh, the dynamics completely different. We have physics and gravity that are completely changing the way we have to move solids out of the hole. So we do a lot with mixing. That's why we use reamers. We have aggressive um, teeth that are uh, making things into a flowable fluid so that we can push them out of the hole. And then uh, the big one is uh, fluid to soil ratio. Since we're, we're kind of pushing it out like when we were little kids and uh, we had that uh, Play-Doh extruder and you'd force down and it would push out the, the little uh, hole and make like a diamond shape or a, a star-shaped Play-Doh. Um, one, we don't want to see drilling fluids that come out like, uh, like an extruded Play-Doh or guys sometimes call it like a big mud turd. You know, we're looking for something that is mixed up. And then depending, you know, if it's sand, sure, it's, uh, it's flowable. It's got porosity. We can get it into a good slurry. We can pump it out. It takes, you know, for one gallon that goes in, it'll push out one gallon of cuttings. And then as we move into sand and gravel, it's going to take, you know, two to three gallons or two to three to the volume. So let's say we're running a 12-inch a reamer and that's 5.8 gallons per foot and I have that three to one ratio, now I'm looking at nearly 18 gallons of fluid to push out that one, you know, 5.6, 5.8 gallons that we, we had there. And so that's when we really think about why is it taking so much more fluid? Because it does, it takes that type of fluid to have the flowability to be able to get it out. And then just like in a vertical, um, you know, fluids engineering is very important to hole stability and being able to get what we need out. And uh, the last thing I think about, you know, in vertical formations are fragile, but the more depth we get, sometimes they become more dense or they, they have more competency to them. So, uh, you know, the idea of le path of least resistance of going out, you know, instead of up. And now, in HDD, our path of least resistance needs to be in that horizontal borehole and coming up into the, you know, the, the angle that we've started drilling at versus up. You know, we say out and vertical. Now we're talking up as the path of least resistance, which could be, you know, six, eight feet, 10, 12 feet to surface. And you guys call that fracking out. Whereas in vertical, you know, we we don't want out. And so it's, a, we got to look at the dynamics. I would grab a, a bottle of water or your soda or whatever's on the job site. And uh, you get done with it, throw some sands and gravels in it just with clear water and set it vertical so that it's the normal way. And look at how your cuttings are setting on the bottom of that. And then I want you to take that same bottle and I want you to turn it horizontally and look at it and see how the, the cuttings settle. And, you know, we can do that with drill fluids. It's kind of harder to see through, but it really is about suspension, flowability, 
And uh, again, path of least resistance, keeping that borehole integrity intact and being able to pump those solids out. When you get into dense clays that are very heavy, you could be, you know, four to five to even more to one. So the greatest thing that we need to remember, same as vertical or horizontal, we need to maintain flow and we need to see cuttings coming out of the hole and realize the cuttings that you're having come out of the hole are much more solids laden than what we do in vertical because we drill with an eight point you know, five drilling fluid and it comes up out of the hole at 8.8 .8 or 8.9. And now we're drilling with that 8.5 drilling fluid and we're bringing things out of the hole that are 9.5 or 10 because that's what it takes to clean it. Good luck, Ronnie. Great question. Thanks.